Hello and welcome to the introduction to the Developing Microsoft Azure Solutions 70 5 Free to Exam Learning Path by Cloud Academy. In this lecture, we'll briefly introduce you to the overall aims and objectives of this learning path, provide an overview of the different courses and provide a high-level overview of the Azure platform. This learning path assumes some familiarity with the fundamentals of .NET development, but this course does not require advanced expertise but some familiarity of Visual Studio 2013 on newer and C Sharp is assumed. A basic familiarity with PowerShell is required as we'll be introducing several key Azure commandlets that are a part of the course objectives. Some familiarity with basic networking terms such as what IP addresses are will also be needed. Before we dive into the courses, let's just briefly discuss Azure as a service offering in general including some of the reasons you might want to use Azure as a developer. Firstly, Azure opens up possibilities to do more with less. By relying on some of the ready-made services, from web hosting to storage to messaging systems, you can more rapidly write applications than previously. It's particularly interesting for software developers because it offers a huge range of developer-focused platform services as well as a large number of lower-level infrastructure services. In fact, Azure offers over 50 different services at the current time, with the platform continually growing. Azure is also extremely flexible, offering a variety of services, operating systems, language support and platforms from Linux to Windows, platform services to containers, from .NET to Python. Azure is not just a Microsoft.NET platform. Azure offers pay-as-you-go pricing models that allow you to scale your applications up and down as demand changes, meaning that you do not have to absorb upfront costs on hardware to cater for the potential for increased demand whilst also allowing you to rapidly test out new technologies and services. Azure offers a worldwide set of data centers in over 25 regions at the present time, with more on the way. In fact, Azure has more data centers than both Amazon and Google's combined. Coupled with Azure support for running services in multiple regions, this provides you with the flexibility to meet customer demand across the world. Most of the demonstrations, samples and labs in this learning path will utilize the Azure portal located at portal.azure.com. The portal is your one-stop shop to create, manage and delete all of your Azure resources from virtual machines to web applications to storage accounts. So you'll be spending a lot of your time in it during this course as you explore and learn the different services required for the exam. However, you should note that there are some elements of this learning path that will utilize the older Azure portal at manage.windowsazure.com. Resources will show up in both portals and the services covered in this course will generally be available in both. For simplicity's sake, we've tried to avoid this portal wherever possible, but as not all functionality has been ported to the newer portal, there are times when we'll occasionally reference this portal instead. We'll make this clear wherever this happens. Let's now focus a little on this learning path itself, which is designed to prepare you for taking the Developing Microsoft Azure Solutions 7532 exam. We'll generally use four different learning methods to guide you through the different areas in the courses. Lectures. We'll explain different concepts and technologies throughout this course with lectures, similar to this one, using written, spoken, and diagrams to illustrate these concepts with an emphasis on providing context of how these technologies are used. Demos will show practical demos of using the Azure portal, as well as demos that illustrate how to interact with Azure services programmatically. Labs will provide a set of guided lab sessions for you to work through at your own pace in order to gain hands-on experience of working with Azure. Quiz questions. You'll have the opportunity to work through some questions which will test your knowledge at the end of each course and a mixed set of questions after you complete the entire learning path. This learning path has been written and reviewed from developers like yourself that have taken the exam as well as used Azure in real world scenarios. So the course is geared towards ensuring you learn the appropriate content for the exam whilst ensuring it delivers content within the context of usage in practical ways. Let's now discuss the main areas of the exam which we'll cover through this learning path. There are five key areas of the exam which we've divided into individual courses and web applications is the first of these, which is a managed service designed to easily host web enabled applications. Virtual machines, 
which allow easy provisioning and management of virtual machines. Cloud services, which is a flexible managed service to host your .NET background services. Storage, which allows cheap, rapid and flexible storage in the cloud. Applications and network services, which offer managed networking, security and messaging services. Each course runs for between one and two hours using a mixture of the elements previously mentioned and will cover everything you need to prepare for the exam.